He's lying. Look at him. He's a crow. He doesn't represent the foresters. Never seen a crow this far north of the wall. Must be a deserter. I don't trust fucking deserters. And you're traveling with a wildling. All the more reason not to trust you. We're not your enemy, says the man who wounded my bear, who came here uninvited. I could have killed you out there, as easily then as I could now. He's a warg. The bear likes your kind even less than I do, so I suggest you shut your mouth. Your blade pierced his shoulder, and I felt the pain as if it were mine. You couldn't possibly understand what that's like. But I could make you understand. Enough, Josera. He claims to serve House Forrester. Anyone could say as much. What proof do you have? This map is from Lord Gregor's journal. It was given to me by my uncle, the Sentinel at House Forrester. Beneath the eye of the Ice Dragon. Harida Is. You trust this crow? That map could only come from a forester. No one else would know those things. My friend is wounded. He won't live long without our help. Hi, Vis. Wait! Where are you taking him? Who is this girl? Is she a prisoner? Why else would you be traveling with a wildling? She's my friend. A wildling girl? I told you we couldn't trust him. She'll betray you the first chance she gets. My name is Elsera Snow. This is my brother, Josra. What is this place? A refuge against the forces of darkness during the long night. A place of great power to those who know how to use it. I assume that's why you're here. You're a long way from home, aren't you? There must be a reason you've come all this way. Lord Gregor's last words before he fell were, the North Grove must never be lost. What do you mean? Last words before he fell? Lord Gregor was slain at the Twins months ago, betrayed by Walder Frey. You didn't know? Of course. How could you? He has no idea who we are. Why would he? You're right. He's just a messenger. All he did was blindly follow a map. Why should we trust him with anything? They clearly didn't. Otherwise, he would know. I'm here representing House Forrester. I deserve to know. They would have told you already, if they thought you were worthy. Perhaps Lord Gregor never told anyone. I wouldn't be surprised. Better to hide his shame where no one could find out. White. Gregor went Fend and Bjornen. This is the gift the Grove gives me. I control these warriors. What about them? Hiftonis! What? No! Let me go! Did they teach you to fight at Castle Black? I hope they did. Otherwise, you're likely to die. I'll do whatever you need me to do. <laughs> Good.
place is evil, Garrett. I can feel it. There's something wrong with these people. Those warriors. They're not normal free folk. Not like any I've ever seen. Ready. Aye. Mira, wait. Tom, what is it? Guards, they're searching your room. Break it down. Search the place. <gasps> they're coming after us for the murder. Come on, we can't stay here. What's going on, Tom? Sarah said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, my lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, my lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. You mean... Someone's plotting against me. What was in the message? Murder accusations, most likely. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you, if they catch us... We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. They won't touch us if we're with her. She'll protect us. Lady Marjorie dismissed me. For good. What? What for? It's not important. Just... We can't count on her. Then we've had it, Lady Mira. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? I have to get out of the keep. Or I'm done for. You, my lady? We're in this together, like it or not. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. I need allies, Tom. Allies with real power. If I can get an audience with Cersei, maybe she'll put a stop to this. I don't like it. But I can get her a message if it's what you want. In the meantime... There's a collier store by the river gate, on Muddy Way. Meet me there. Who's there? Show yourself, or it'll be worse for you. Get to the colliers. Tell Godwin I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mira. Oh boy, take him!
Mira told us he was gathering an army. We have heard to think it's not bigger, but we can't fight that. He doesn't expect us to. He's trying to frighten us into surrender. I want every bolt aimed at Lord Whitehill the moment he appears. Ryan! Fuck! Crossbows up! Asher Forrester! Show your face, boy! Ryan! He's frightened, father. On ya! <laughs> Are you here to sue for peace, Lord Whitehill? Lay down your arms, and I'll spare your lives. <laughs> That's very funny. I've missed your unique sense of humor. But no, I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men, but it's time you listen to reason. I could ram your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or, we could end the bloodshed here and now. This war is over, Asher. It ended the moment Roderick fell. By Ramsay's rules, I'm the victor here. This will all be mine now. One way or another. Are you truly that blind, Lord? I am the Lord of House Forrester! Ha! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> He's the fourth Lord Forrester I've seen in his many moons, Father. Let's put all this ugliness behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood, under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine, for all to see, by wedding my queen. <laughs> well, fuck me. Asher, you can't! That would be easier to believe coming from Gwyn herself. Where is she? Far away from all this, of course. Besides, I speak on her behalf as her father. I would just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I've brought home the body of your lord. Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother. <laughs> I'm sure your people will be relieved to keep their lives. We'll never bend the knee to a fucking White Hill. You will. Unless you want to end up like Roderick here. You have an hour. I'll be waiting in my camp. No! 
I'm sorry, little brother. I've buried too many sons. Maester, take my brother's body. You will join Father and Ethan in the grove. As you say, my lord. But... Forgive me, I, I just... Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. We simply accept. We bow our heads and Asher marries Gwyn. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. I may have loved Quinn once, but this isn't real. That Lord will have my head the moment Quinn produces an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. We have to kill them, Asher. I piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill them all. We ride! To us! Spill their blood! Believe me, I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But Lord still has Ryan. A direct attack is a sure way to see another Forester dead today. But there may be another way we could win this. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say-so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord of the lead. They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lud will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lud is wary. Simple. We tell Lud exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. And then? An ambush. Your pit fight is hidden until the last moment. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lud could escape. There's another way. Poison. In his wine. There are those who would call poison a coward's weapon. No. Lethal and direct. Either plan is high risk. We only lure Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. We're already in danger. I'll be there, Duncan. I'll pour the wine myself. Poison is dog shit. You're here for revenge. You want him to choke on your blade, not his vomit. But in ambush, there's no way to control. Everything could go wrong. Poison is targeted. Lud will be the first to fall. I'm sure I have such a toxin in my stores. No. I came here to wet my sword in Westerosi blood. It's what you promised us. We are at a crossroads, my lord. We have to make a choice. These are the only options on the table. Asher is our lord now. The decision is yours. I understand the risks. But an ambush is the best way to kill as many White Hills as possible. Then we have a plan. Whatever happens to me, I need you to get Ryan out alive. As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother, too. I won't forget this. I've forgotten the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. We will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Send word to Lord. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses. The key! Search the area! Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! What's all this? Lord Morgren, how lovely to run into you. Mira Forrester! You're coming with us. <clears throat> My good sirs, there's no need for that. 
Surely you have more dangerous criminals to deal with than Lady Marjorie's handmaiden. We have orders from Captain Lucan to- Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Merrill? The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate! Quick as you can! What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Minor trouble, Lord Morgren. Nothing I can't deal with. Of course, I never doubted that. Although those guards did seem quite intent on dragging you off. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them, at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was sending cell swords to Ironrath. I couldn't let that happen. <laughs> no need to explain to me. I'm glad he's out of the way. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood Market is wide open. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Breaking into the imp's chambers and stealing that decree. That was bold. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. You... you two-faced shit! Don't you have any honor? Honor? Do you think I got where I am because of honor? We've both seen what happens to honorable men. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. You're making a mistake, Morgren. I have powerful allies. One word to Cersei, and you'll be in the cell next to Andros. You're mistaken, Mira Forrester. No one is coming to your aid. We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Lucan, I fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. You don't need to do this, Lucan. Whatever you think you know, we, we can work something out. Shut your liar's mouth! It's time you answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mera. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick 